All right, you two. Uh, just doing a quick review on uh, lead that you would uh, use for cast pullets. A lot of people use the lead weights, wheel weights, and stuff. And uh, most of the people around here, uh, the shops around here in Georgia, they tend to reuse a lot of the wheel weights. So uh, I didn't get a chance to get any of those. I stopped by a few places today and caught them, and uh, they pretty much keep them. So I struck out on that. And uh, I called my recycling place, and they said they had some lead. And so I went and checked it out, and this is what they had. Uh, you're looking at about 90, 92 pounds, something like that. And, uh, I mean, it's, it's close to pure lead. And as you can see, it's pretty pliable. Bends fairly easy. So I'm, I'm assuming that it's not, you know, 100% lead. You know, but it's... It's a lot more lead content than, say, a wheel weight is. And uh, sorry about the traffic. Sorry about the traffic noise. I'm um, having to do this outside. But uh, as you can see, $27. You get that much lead. Uh, for me, my shooting, I, that'll probably cover whatever I need. Uh, you know, it's a whole lot cheaper than buying it off the internet and ingots. Of course, it's a lot more work. Uh, took me maybe $2 worth of gas to go get it. So $29 total for it. And, uh, of course, I have to cut it up into manageable chunks to put in my pot. But I'll probably do that with uh, an axe. Because, you know, not a good axe that I would use on something else, but... Uh, old axe that I have because you know but it'd be probably the best way I would see to cut it and uh, not lose as much lead that way but uh, I'll keep you updated on how it cuts up how well it melts and uh, it'll probably be this is probably video one in a, of a series of how to cast uh, lead into bullets the smelting process casting into the ingots and then casting it into bullets so uh, be a couple of videos, so uh, uh, short and sweet. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Uh, I did pick this up at a recycling scrap yard, I guess you would say, and they scrap a lot of metals. You know, these are the this is a place that uh, if you have any stolen copper from your house, that's where it ends up, and then the people who sold it to them get arrested. You know that fun stuff, but. Uh, you know, this would be a good start off project for 30 bucks, not too bad. Uh, have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section and uh, I'll see you on.